Two Canadian guys trying weird beers. Okay, I met this is my son Zach. We're two Canadian guys trying weird beers. And today I thought I had something funny to say, but I looked right into a key light right before we started, so I can't see anything. We said, don't look into the light. Yeah, it's really, I did it again. Man, didn't you ever watch Poltergeist? Isn't that where they say don't look into light? The little, uh, little person, uh, psychic uh, person? Isn't that what? Played by Zelda Rubenstein, if I'm... The Zelda Rubenstein? Yes, the one and only. Oh my god. I know. I think, I, I think a Poltergeist <laughs> played like, uh, like, I don't want to say miniature. Um... She played a little person psychic. I know you can't, uh, you can't, uh, anyway. She played a psychic. She played a psychic. She played a psychic. That's it. Uh, she played a psychic who is uh, horizontally, uh, not challenged. <laughs> horizontally challenged? <laughs> Vertically challenged. Sorry. I got my things mixed up. <laughs> <laughs> horizontally challenged is a completely different video. You find those on the deep web. Anyway, suffice it to say, don't look into the into the light. Watch out, Zelda Gandolfini plays a psychic that can't pass through shallow doors. What? <laughs> because she's so horizontally challenged. <laughs> Anywho, all this to say, don't look into the light. I'm pretty sure that's a. Can you check with Zelda Rubenstein? Somebody? Anybody? Okay. <coughs> we uh, okay. Uh, enough of that uh, nonsense. We got beers. Why? Because uh, beeriness is cheeriness, and we're here when you don't want an expert opinion. And if you haven't guessed already, that's all, all, all you're gonna get. But before we get to the beers, does that make sense? Sure. Okay. Because sometimes my my ears don't hear what my brain is saying. Okay. But before we get to the beers, which we're all clamoring for. Palette cleanser! Okay, go. the uh, assistant producer is way in. It was Zelda Rubenstein who played, uh, I don't remember her name. Tennessee Williams? Tennessee Tuxedo? Tangina. Tangina Barons. That sounds like a made up name. Oh, wait, it was a made up name. It was in a movie. It is a made up name. <laughs> I don't know. Tangina Barons, this sounds wrong. I don't know, it sounds like, uh, like another name for infertility. What? Look, I'm just putting it out there, folks. It's not like someone needs to get their Tangina Bering Strait. <laughs> uh, traveling towards the Tangina Bering Strait. That's my favorite body of water. The, the, the Tangina Bering Strait. Is a strait a body of water? It's a piece of land, right? Sea? Right, it's in the Bering Sea. The Tangina Bering Sea. Anywho, okay, kids, that's uh, that's your some kind of educational lesson for today. So don't go to school. Just stick around with us. Well, when you're real good. Okay, uh, here we go. In for a penny. In for a piece of penny foggery. <laughs> what is a what's a penny foggery? It's a tiny foggery. A petty foggery is a tiny foggery? Uh, it's, it's, it's foggery that, uh, you know, can't let anything go. <coughs> what? <laughs> uh, what you guys are engaged in is probably petty foggery because it's a quarrel about petty points. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now that we've got this petty foggery out of the way and, uh, the, uh, Alec runs right away. We got the beers. Okay, I'll go first. Oh, yeah, sure. We've got the beer from Beyond the Pale, uh, a brewery of which we've imbibed many beers. It's called Evening Edition. It's a dark lager, ooh, but it's described as a light beer. What the hell? Dark lager, light beer. It's got water, malted barley, malted wheat, hops, yeast, uh, the usual stuff, blah, 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 bling, bling, bling. Only 3.8% alcohol by volume. 3.8, really? Yeah, for a dark lager. <laughs> Yeah, but it's a light beer. Oh, uh, this is this is this uh, this will be all the max stuff, eh? So uh, the next one is Eagle IPA from Carlsberg Marston's Brewing Company. 
It's uh, crafted in the heart of England and 5% <clears throat> brewed with natural mineral water. How about that? Eagle IPA is brewed using the finest hops and barley malt. It is uniquely brewed using natural mineral water from an independently accredited source. Our own well. You know, if your well is next <clears throat> to a pig farm, I don't want to drink <clears throat> your water. Okay, what, what is your point here? <laughs> the uh, <coughs> stuff in a cow in, in, in a pig's poop will leach into the soil and infect everything around it. I, I get the feeling that, that you're thinking of a well as in like like a tube of rocks with water in it. Yes. No. Because we're not we're not in the fucking like Clark and Clark and Gable? Lewis and Clark. L Lewis and Clark. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh <laughs> those those great explorers of old Clark Gable? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, Clark Cable and Jerry Lewis. As long as long as the the, the well is made uh, from Cary Granite, you're okay. <laughs> if you didn't know, Cary Granite was a character that appeared in an episode of Flintstones. Uh, a send up of Cary Grant, if you didn't know. Oh. It was an old time you wanted me uh, uh, movie actor. Okay, <laughs> enough of that. Enough of that nonsense. Uh, what are we going to start with? I think we should start with the IPA as usual. I guess we should start with the IPA. Well, you know what? The dark lager that's light? I don't know, oh, man. I don't know. Why are you so weird about that? Because I'm weird about that. Like, what What are you afraid of? Because uh, the, the contradictions frighten me. It's not as contradictory as you think, though. Like, like What, dark lager? Light beer? Yeah. Come on, that's got contradiction written all over it. No, because cause you can have a dark lager that's a strong beer. When this goes up, we'll be, uh, we'll be pretty close to... Uh, April Fool's Day, which is April 1st. Now, as a sidebar, I'm not a fan of April Fool's Day. I'm not a fan of pranks or jokes or... Because there, there seems to be an underlying element of cruelty to them. So, I don't know where I was going with this. What? <laughs> you, you fucking came and went with the whole April 1st thing. Well, I think, I th I think that the contradictory nature <coughs> of this beer is an April Fool's joke on us. <coughs> It's not contradictory, though. A, a, a okay, lot. dark lager, light beer. Is okay. that not contradictory? If you think it's contradictory, leave a leave a message down below and like and subscribe and ring the bell and tell your friends and all that other stuff that we're supposed to tell you to do. Alright, so okay, we'll go. We'll go with that one. We'll start with the IPA. Okay, you're not supposed to smell it before it's out of the can. That's not true, and I do it every episode. It ruins this. You can't stop me. You're not a cop. <laughs> it it doesn't smell like an IPA out of the can. Ooh. Hello. Hello. It's dark. This is the most British looking thing I've seen since uh, Hugh Grant. He looks British. With those teeth. S sorry, Hugh. <laughs> what's what's Hugh Grant doing these days? What's he been in? Hopefully not a <laughs> prostitute. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho. Do I not know something, or is that just a random... Oh. <laughs> okay, let's, uh, let's, <coughs> let's, let's, let's hurry by this, uh, <clears throat> this topic and uh, smell the beer. Whoa, it changed since it came out of the can. It's still not IPA-ish. It's... I don't smell any IPA element to it, but then again, I'm, I'm you know, I'm smelling... No, it's, it's sweet. There's like, there's this like... Sweet. There's this like burnt aspect to it. Come on, nose. It's like, give me something. I don't know if it's like burnt or smoky. Oh man, I don't get any of this. It's got this like, like Bernoisette kind of smell. Let's see the flying nun, Bernoisette. <laughs> okay, what's a Bernoisette? Uh, it's it's um what when you uh take when you melt butter, past the point where it's just melted and it starts to brown. Okay. So, so, uh... Brown butter? Yeah. <laughs> you could have said, just said, uh, brown butter, you food nerd. Yeah, but maybe some people don't know what brown butter is, and, and I want to instruct them how to make well, it. Well, now you know. Now you know it's uh, akin to a flying nun named Bern Wazette. Who was the flying nun? Sally Fields. Sally Fields. I was going to say Soupy Sales. <laughs> Oh man, I would have watched that show if it featured Soupy Sales as a flying man. 
All right, should, should we give it a shot? I'm very curious about this. Yes, now. yes, we should give it a shot because I can't spell anything. That is a different kind of IPA. That's. Are we are we sure? It says IPA. Okay, now I'm getting some of that uh, IPA bitterness on the back end. But like it's it's kind of there, but but in no way that would make you think that it's an IPA. It's a pretty good. It's pretty good tasting <clears throat> beer, actually. It's like a beer that was raised in a meadery. Raised where? Like in in a meadery around like a bunch of mead barrels. <laughs> oh, mead! I heard meat. I'm going. What the fuck is a meadery? I was. I was. I was. <laughs> uh, I was momentarily terrified there for a second. All of the steaks and sausages that a little beer could want. <laughs> Come on down to the meatery. Just don't bring your pets. Wow. <laughs> it's very smooth, but it's got this like, like this like sweet little nibble at uh, like that that kind of goes along. It's like ying, 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 ying. it's not bad though. I I don't know if I like it, but it's not bad. It, it's like a beer. That bought an IPA costume at, 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 at like, Spirit Halloween. I'm going to dress up like an IPA. <coughs> yeah, that's a pretty good, uh, that's a, as good a description. Hello, as other brewskis. Yes, I am the IP of A. <laughs> Would you like to taste all of my bitters? We'll get down with our bitter sounds. <clears throat> okay, I guess we should, um, I guess we should just uh, do the thing. <sighs> It's a Garino time. That's weird. The sweetness is more up front when you chug it. But the, the bitterness doesn't... Uh, it's not amplified. This is weird. What, what, what form of, of, of witchery is this beer? It's not for me. I don't mind it. I kind of liked it. Okay, we got that one in the way. Guess what? Palate cleanser. Oh, God, I forgot. <laughs> Woo. Let's move on to the next beer, which is Evening Edition from Beyond the Pale, which is a dark lager, but a light beer. I don't understand. Well, they're not lying. It's dark. Whoa, what is that? It's the dark lager. What is that? The dark lager. From beyond the pale. <coughs> oh! Oh, I can't place that smell. It's the smell of bad crackers. <coughs> it's It's got like a stink, but not like stinky. It's got a stink, but not <coughs> quite stinky. ba 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 that was a big hit in the, in the like, 60s. Like like when you when you leave like toasted puff rice out too long. And it takes on the <clears throat> odor of the damned. <laughs> do like Rice Krispies do something to you or? I like Rice Krispies. The puff yeah. wheat. Uh, and puff, way too much of that stuff. Puff rice. Kids. Puff but, rice. I said puff rice. Puff rice? Yeah. Oh. That's what Rice Krispies is. I thought it was puff wheat. No. Really? It's not wheat crispies. Oh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> no, it smells like something. We should just drink it. Yeah. Mm. Now this tastes like a logger who went to the costume store and decided to buy a stout outfit. Really? I don't taste the stoutiness. What? I don't. It, it doesn't... Oh, I like it's that. got a certain stoutiness to it. it I don't mind it. It, it. There's a sweetness to it, but uh, you know all that stuff you said where it, it was like uh, uh, Bernie uh, the Flying Clown? No, Bernie the uh, Flying Nun? What is? Was that this? No, that was the last beer. Oh. Whoops, my mistake. <laughs> 
Do you listen to me, but at all? I do. <laughs> Why do you think I quoted you incorrectly? <laughs> well, this has that 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 that, that kind of roasted uh, taste that you get from uh, stouts. It, it tastes like uh, like a stout's <clears throat> younger brother that wants to tag along. It tastes yeah. It it, it, it tastes like a watered down secondhand stout. Oh, you do it a disservice, sir. It's got more flavor than that. It really doesn't. Yes, it does. Oh, you know, <clears throat> I can't even look at you. <clears throat> so you know what we're going to do? We're going to do the thing. Oh, yes. It's Chuggerino time. <sighs> That's a pretty good chug. It's better chugged. <clears throat> so now that we've got the, <clears throat> this out of the way, we're gonna do uh, we're gonna do the schmutz test because I'm the beer explorer, but we're throwing a curveball because the producer hates me. Okay, in a, uh, in the spirit of April Fools, which I've already told you I'm not a fan of, uh, I don't like being pranked, but we're gonna prank ourselves. <laughs> oh, 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 this is gonna be so much fun. So I don't know. Somebody who hates us sent us durian snacks. I mean, we've seen people cook with durian, we've seen people try durian, we've seen people uh, exposed to durian, and it, it never looks or sounds good. <laughs> exposed to durian like it's radiation. Well, it, it, it certainly <clears throat> feels like it's radioactive. So, we've decided that uh, in the spirit of April Fools, which I'm not <coughs> a fan of, we're going to try, we're going to try, so this is, this is uh, the schmutz. Versus durian. So we have creamy durian biscuits. And creamy <laughs> durian biscuits. Oh. oh, if you think I'm eating more than one thing of durian, and we have uh, one durian snack, you're out of your mind. Durian mini wafer bites. Crispy on the outside, creamy on the inside, just like me. Oh. I'm not needing all these. Okay. So, I mean, try, I, mean, I mean, I'll try them. We'll, we'll try the beer, uh, the durian cookie. Okay, beer versus durian. Who will emerge victorious? Wow, wow. that's a that's a long seal. Do I want to smell it? Oh, oh! She smells like. <laughs> oh, oh my god! That's fucking horrible! Who eats this as a delicacy? Come on! Oh, oh, oh it's. Oh. We gotta close it up! It's filling up the. the oh, oh, this is fucking horrible! <coughs> it's filling up a room with the, the, the smell of rotting flesh! Oh, Tyler, what are you doing? Do you wanna like. Do you wanna like split that in two? Well, I'm gonna take a bite of it. I don't know how this is considered a delicacy. I really don't. Just the smell of it is horrible. But I'm going to taste it in the spirit of fucking April Fools. This is like eating rotting garbage. Are you okay with this? I've actually had worse in my mouth. <laughs> I don't want to know your life, son. <coughs> Do you want to finish it? Nope. Ah, okay. <clears throat> oh, schmutz, don't feel me now. <clears throat> so, what we're trying to test here is, does beer cover up the taste of durian? <sighs> Okay, these are not getting opened up here. These are getting opened at a nuclear, nuclear waste disposal site. Oh my god. That was the... Oh, that That was... That was... <laughs> that was awful. That was absolutely awful. The, sm the smell was horrible. The taste... They tried to disguise it by putting it in a sweet cookie. But no, no. Yeah. 
Durian knows the score, and it can get away, it can get around all that sweetness, like and scar you for life. It wasn't the cookie itself wasn't as bad as I thought it was. Oh, I, 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 every time I, I run my tongue across my teeth, I feel fart. Like I'm, I'm I'm just licking booty every time I cross a molar. It the smell was one of the most repulsive things. What are we gonna do? It's gonna be infused in our fucking room. Oh, it'll be fine. The paint's gonna soak it up. <coughs> okay, these are fucking awful. I don't even want to look at the. No, no, I'm not trying any any more of this. I mean, the, the durian cookies were the creamy durian biscuit. Yeah, bite me. Okay, what did the beers get out of ten? You know what? Kill Bill Volume 2 out of 10. Kill Bill Volume 2 out of 10. Oh my god, I'm burping up durian. Wait until you see what I have planned for dinner tonight. <sighs> Quiet, you. <laughs> okay, so we've done the, the... Oh, look, I've got crumbs of durian on the, the... Oh. Okay, so we tried uh, durian for uh, April Fools, and uh, boy, were we the fools. <laughs> Yeah, alcohol does not cover durian. No, and uh, we tried the beers, so I guess we're done. I'm Ed, this is my son Zach, we're the Canadian guys trying with beers. We're never eating these fucking things again.